great welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos for the support for the love god bless you i really appreciate much but if you're new here you are welcome please before you leave this channel remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video so friends when you see my face like this you know that today's video is a story time yes i'm going to be sharing with you a facebook dating story which will shock you it will be very interesting but at the same time it will help you learn a lot of things it is going to open your eyes especially you who is online looking for love then this video is it is perfect for you guys so just enjoy this story while while i finish up my makeup <laughs> starting with the eyes <laughs> So friends, our today's story will be about a lady called Roberta, 36 years old, Italian, <laughs> and a widow, two sad guys. Roberta was a very hard working woman, very positive, full of life, and she had a lot of friends because she was a very positive person, you know. People who are positive always have <laughs> lots of friends around. <laughs> so she had a lot of friends and most people liked her. But Roberta, as a woman, was never happy because she was always feeling very lonely. Due to that, she is a widow and most of her friends had boyfriends, husbands, so this made her very lonely and a very sad person yes positive when she talks to people <laughs> but deep inside she was a sad person because she really wanted someone by her side so friends the loneliness pushed roberta to start online dating so she joined online dating sites so that she can find someone to conquer the loneliness guys <laughs> so today i'm going to be doing purple eyeshadow this one here roberta chatted with different men online and this made her so happy very excited and what made her very excited is that this chatting thing made her very busy especially when she could come back from work at home at night she could be busy chatting and the loneliness she was feeling before decreased but at the same time she wanted someone to be there with her physically so it passed four months since roberta joined online dating sites but she was not lucky yet to find anyone she kept on searching and she kept on also going to work so one friday roberta went to work and accidentally guys she got an accident at work fell down this accident was really really serious very very serious guys and she was rushed to the hospital guys if you're someone who likes eyeliner please check this eyeliner out it is from kiko milano <laughs> you know ladies we like to share <laughs> good things so if i see something good i think it's okay to share it with you this is the eyeliner that i'm talking about it has got two sides so this one is the thin side whereby they told me this one works here helps here at the tip of the eye <laughs> and to make a very thin line and this one works here at the end so it makes a very very good line 
it's very good and it has got a lot of products let me do this and you hear <laughs> so Roberta after two years was allowed to go out of the hospital but she was no longer the same Roberta the hard working woman a very strong woman she was a very different Roberta whereby she could not stand for so long when she stands for so long then her, her whole body pains and when she sits for so long her whole body pains the only way for her not to feel a lot of pain was to lie down on the bed so that is why I told you she was a very different Roberta So friends, Roberta returned back home, but a very different Roberta physically and due to her problem, she was not supposed to work anymore in her life. So this made her a cripple, guys. And she was supposed to just stay at home, not make, not make any activity that is heavy for her. So she stayed at home and this made her more lonely than before because before she used to go to work a loneliness she could feel it when she returns back home or when she goes out with friends with her boyfriends or their husbands that is when she could feel lonely but right now she's just alone the whole day at home this made her very very lonely and she decided to return back to the dating sites so she continued searching for someone and while she was searching for someone at work they compensated her the whole thing of the accident with 50,000 euros as a compensation to help her while she's at home she can have food and take care of herself So one day guys, Roberta received a message from a man from Facebook who introduced himself as Duncan and he said he was a policeman, you know, those investigator. Yeah, that is how this Duncan introduced himself to Roberta and they started chatting chatted a lot and decided even to meet in person Roberta was really excited very happy about that and one weekend Duncan came to visit Roberta and went to Roberta's house Roberta was very very happy to see Duncan because Duncan was a very cute man he was 40 years old but he was very very cute and very loving very sweet <laughs> and this made Roberta a very happy woman so during that weekend they really enjoyed each other's company and Duncan was a man who had sweet words guys sweet sweet words and we ladies <laughs> we like sweet words <laughs> we like to hear sweet words <laughs> so that weekend they talked about a lot of things Duncan promised so much to Roberta <laughs> to marry her and he even told Roberta that he is planning to buy a house for them, two of them, so that they can live together when they get married. So this made Roberta very happy and feel very, very special. Sunday arrived, 
Duncan was supposed to return back to his city because he was living in a different city, not the same city where Roberta lived. And voila! <laughs> My makeup is done. Not so much to do. <laughs> so the relationship went on and Duncan one time took Roberta, introduced her to his sister. This made Roberta very happy and made her feel very secure that Duncan is a serious man and he is real. <laughs> so they kept on with their relationship and when Duncan could not get time to go visit Roberta, he could make a video call or he could record himself and send it to Roberta. <laughs> which was a very good thing, you know, because when you're in a relationship, you really miss each other so much. <laughs> very, very much, especially a long distance relationship. <laughs> so when it comes to communication, it is really, really important. Those video calls are a very big deal. <laughs> so this kept the relationship very strong and stronger. <laughs> so six months of their relationship passed and things started changing whereby Duncan started behaving in a strange way but Roberta <laughs> her eyes were blinded by love because this Duncan could promise to stay with Roberta for three days but sleeps only one night and comes up with something sometimes he could say maybe a mother is sick or an uncle is sick <laughs> <laughs> and then goes away but he could keep on calling her sending her videos telling her that I love you so much you are the woman of my life I cannot live without you and all these made Roberta not to open her eyes believed in this man and one weekend guys Duncan went to visit Roberta then showed Roberta a lot of photos of a house that he bought that house at the price of 300,000 euros. Roberta was really surprised because the house was extra, extra beautiful. <laughs> very, very beautiful, guys. Whereby Roberta was living in a very normal apartment <laughs> of only one bedroom. So Duncan told Roberta that we are going to live in this house together. I bought this house for us, me and you. Like I promised you, Roberta was really happy, very, very happy. And they started planning of moving out. So friends, one month remained before Roberta moved in with Duncan in the new house. <laughs> and one time Duncan called told her that there is an idea I want to give you I think it's a very good idea you will love it but we need to meet and talk so Roberta told him you come and we talk there is no problem Duncan went and told her that I think it's good if you open a bank account in the city where we live it is going to be easy for you to access your money and all that. Then after that, you can open a joint account. So because Roberta was madly in love, accepted the idea. And it is because, you know, when you are in love, sometimes you can be manipulated. Sometimes you don't think straight. <laughs> You don't think beyond your nose, <laughs> you just think here and you just want to make your man happy. Whatever idea he gives you, you want to agree with it so that you cannot disappoint him. So that is what Roberta did. She accepted to open a bank account in the other city, but by the help of Duncan. So it was Duncan who was going to open that bank account for her and put the money there. So Roberta transferred all her money to that bank account, gave the money personally to Duncan so that he can deposit it to the bank. Guys, it sounds very crazy because sometimes we see things in the movie and we say, ah, it's just in the movie. It can't happen in real life. This is not a movie. <laughs> 
it is true this is a real real story guys i could have shared even the real photo of this lady but i can't due to the copyright situation i don't want to get in trouble but this woman took her money in this era that we are living <laughs> withdrawn her money and gave it to this guy to deposit it in that bank account in the city where they will be living then the show started whereby the day of moving in arrived and then duncan told her that my niece died we cannot move in then unpacked <laughs> we will move in next week the next week arrived then duncan told her Ah, I, I have to go and work in another city for two months. When I return, we'll move in together. And then two months passed, again told her the next time. She said that she packed her bags 12 times. <laughs> packing and packing, packing and packing. And it never happened. In the end, this guy disappeared, could not take the calls of Roberta. He disappeared completely. So Roberta decided to go and visit him at his place. When she arrived, Duncan was there and told her that we will move in, but not in that house, not in the new house. He was still in the old house, but told her that we will move in when I'm settled. Right now I'm having a lot of situations. My mother is sick, so we cannot move in together. Then Roberta was tired of this whole situation, told Duncan that, you know what, I want my money, let's go to the bank and withdraw it. But when they went together to that bank whereby <laughs> Duncan told the bank account is there, <laughs> guys, this is very funny. I'm laughing, but the situation is, is very, very sad. <laughs> so when they arrived, the bank tellers told her that you don't have any bank account here <laughs> our client is Duncan and that money actually was deposited in Duncan's bank account he never opened a bank account for her <laughs> and how can that even happen guys how can that even happen <laughs> I don't know. Oh, ladies, we really need to open our eyes. Please, please, please. These things of dating and you get blinded, we should stop this. We should be really, really smart. So this guy took this lady's money. She even opened a case so that they can go to court. They went to court, but this guy won. He won because this lady gave him the money without being forced. <laughs> <laughs> so so there is no robbery there the guy won and even took her money remember this lady cannot work she's on bed she can only stand a bit or sit a bit so she can't do any work she is crying guys desperately and asking for an Italian government so that they can help her out but guys we have to learn from this never trust a man you meet online until you see things happening not only words i always advise you guys don't believe the words believe the actions <laughs> if you believe the words then you're going to be robbed you're going to be heartbroken you're going to be scammed guys and also another thing you who are online dating you're chatting with a guy and then he is telling you i'm going to invite you you'll come and stay with me shows you i don't know the house the cars everything that he owns so that you think he is rich and start getting excited then get whatever he wants to get from you this guy will block you after do not believe this guy let him get into action let him send you his documents for the invitation when you get those documents where he lives and everything then sends you the ticket start believing that oh this man has really invited me he is real but only words don't get excited look at this woman she packed and unpacked 12 times <laughs> so he just gave her the excitement of, of going and live with him <laughs> but they are not going to live in any new house because that new house 
never existed another thing i am telling you especially african women looking for white men be wise open your eyes your mind <laughs> be smart that is what i'm trying to tell you because white men too can scam you you see this guy that scammed this lady is an italian <laughs> a white man <laughs> So don't think, ah, white men cannot scam me. Scammers are only Nigerians. I'm sorry to say this because <laughs> they are the famous ones. Nigerian guys are leading in scamming, but not only them. Even white men can scam. You really need to know this. Be very smart. Be very careful when you deal with these men you meet online don't believe them until you see the things happen <laughs> so that's it guys this is the story of today i really hope you enjoyed it you learned something if you've liked this beautiful interesting sad story <laughs> give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy it watch my other videos too don't forget to comment below what you think i love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video